and fuck yes. Welcome to content. I'm your host, Mike Falzone, and this is gonna be great. You know how you have friends who show you videos in real life, either they send them to you via phone, or they're like, hey, look at this, and you both watch it? Well, this is that. But this is even one step further removed from that. I'm telling you about a video, but I live on a screen. What? Get some friends. Anyway, you gotta see this video, dude. So, my friend Nick Hamilton. <laughs> there was no warning or preface to what this video might be. He just said, You have to watch this right now. This is a TikTok, and I believe the title of the TikTok is... <laughs> The title of this TikTok and the general premise is <laughs> how to look at a how to look at a painting. And it belongs to the National Gallery London. So it belongs to what I think is a very prestigious art gallery in London. And they have an artist, an art curator who is from somewhere, uh, I guess. <laughs> and he so instantly became my favorite person that there is. And my mom is still alive and I have a wife. Shot to the top of the pops. I don't even know where to start. But I guess I'll tell you that there's a million things I could tell you that I love about the first nine seconds. <laughs> so I guess I'm just gonna watch it a bunch and we'll try to match it up. <laughs> okay, so here is a man telling you <laughs> how to look at paintings. Hello. How are you supposed to look at paint? And we'll get, we can actually stop right there. <laughs> because I don't know that I've ever been greeted more warmly ever. And I've spent Christmas with my family. This is kind of like if just your ears walk through the gates of Disney World. Hello. Hello. How are you supposed to look at paintings? So the first thing this man says <laughs> is warmest greeting in the world and then poses the rhetorical question, which he will then answer, how are you supposed to, and this is so important, how, <laughs> how are you supposed to look at paintings? <laughs> and that's, what the, and that's what the whole video is about. And that's what the whole video is about. How are you supposed to look at paintings? <laughs> and you might be sitting there on your phone with us saying, you just <laughs> look at them. You just look at them. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. And then he obviously is smart enough to know that. So he says the next thing. Uh, probably you think you need to stand in front of it quietly. Perfectly <laughs> normal to think that. It's what I was thinking. It's what you were thinking. It's what he thought you were thinking. But. Well, that's wrong actually. <laughs> Did you ever in your wildest dreams think that in thinking what we all thought you were thinking that you were wrong? How are you supposed to look at paintings? By standing in front of them quietly? Nope. Often painters design pictures to be seen from a width vantage point. This is about how different paintings were designed to be viewed at different perspectives because it's beautiful and this is fine art and there was no internet for so long and so people had to look at paintings from all different angles. Caravaggio's Sapra Emos, originally hanging in the lower and uh, the ground floor of the Palazzo Mattei in Rome. So sexy to say Rome like that. Rome. It's beautiful. A bit closer, you can see you are actually invited to sit at the table. This is like how wine people talk about wine. And when it's inviting you, there's such a bouquet, and you could smell your family members around the table as you imbibe the wine. This man is drinking the painting in, and he's inviting you to dinner, isn't he? How are you supposed to drink a painting? I left a gap for you to reach out and save the basket <laughs> from <laughs> Dude, he's like singing it. He's singing it. To save the basket. Falling on the floor, but most importantly, you can finally spot the fishtail shaped shadow. <laughs> 
you can finally spot the fishtail shaped shadow <laughs> which there is which there is the falling basket makes a fishtail shaped shadow which i think is supposed to be a jesus and the fish type thing i'm not smart enough to understand the painting but i could hear him talk about it forever and boom now <laughs> boom <laughs> If I was ever at a guided tour around a gallery and the like the stuffy, normally the stuffy uptight tour guide said, look at there in the shadows, that's a fishtail. Boom. Boom. I'd be in, I'm so in for whatever you want to tell me forever. You can see, you can tell the identity of the mysterious man in red. Each letter of ichthus, the Greek word for fish, stands for Jesus Christ, son of God the savior. So very cool how he just explains art. From falling in love with this man's voice to the first three seconds, the way he turns himself around in the first three seconds of this video, he twists himself around like that and he turns around and he's kind of like an animatronic Hello. and he's doing the job of an animatronic. This is like they made the perfect animatronic almost <laughs> i'm gonna try to duplicate it it's like you have to have studied ballet for years to even understand how this works where do his legs start he spins on his heels like he's in the jackson five hello hello like that is it one hand or two no 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 <laughs> And then turning around like that combined with asking that question. So now your brain has to say, have I been looking at paintings wrong for my entire life after you see a man turn around like this? Hello. So that's even a lot to process as it is. And then he, he asked, he hit you with the question. Hello, how are you supposed to look at paintings? I don't know, man. I've seen this video 147 times at National Gallery of London. Follow that if you're on TikTok. This is the best thing that's ever happened to me. I can't wait until the next time this happens because the next time it happens, you better believe I'll be here to tell you about it so we could all, it's not funny unless everybody knows about it. That's not true. It's a thousand percent funny. I don't care if there was one view on this video and it was me. It would still be as funny. I love this video. I love art.